Hello everyone, welcome to another video on average related functions. So in this tutorial, we will learn about average, average if and average ifs function. Whenever there is a if or if is written in any of the function, then these are some of the conditional functions means you have to perform a certain operations based upon certain conditions or criteria. So as the name suggests average if and average ifs means here we would be calculating the average based upon certain condition average if is used when you have a single condition or single criteria average if is used when you have uh, multiple criteria or multiple conditions so let's understand the average functions first so it's a pretty straightforward uh, mathematical function so it calculates numerical average values in a data set uh, so here either you can directly pass numbers like this uh, to calculate average uh, and it will uh, show you the average of 10 30 equal to 20 or you can pass a data set over here so here we have to calculate average revenue so equal to average and then control shift down so here the average is 4171.4 next we have to calculate what is the average unit sold for product with unit sold greater than 50 so now we have certain condition and under those conditions we need to calculate the average so here uh, this is the unit sold column and wherever we have greater than 50 we need to calculate average of those products only so here uh, this is greater than 50 means 51 and then this is 60 and then we have 55 so average is 55.33 so we have to calculate average of only these three so here average if uh, function will be useful and uh, let's see the syntax of average if function so criteria range means you need to pass the range where your criteria lies where your condition lies and then criteria what is the condition and then uh, the range for which average needs to be calculated is average range i will tell you uh, why this is in a square bracket means optional so here uh, let's write average if equal to average if and criteria range so unit sold greater than 50 means this is the range in which your criteria lies in which your condition lies okay so pass that criteria range and your criteria is greater than 50 so i'm writing greater than 50 and next average range so whenever your average range and criteria range is same then you can omit third parameter average range that is why it is in a square bracket so here my criteria also lies in unit sold column and my average also needs to be calculated from this column only so that's why i can skip this so this is 55.33 we can also uh, do a cell referencing in this function so here uh, we have passed greater than 50 and you need to pass greater than 50 in double quotes so whenever you have mathematical logical operator or you have text based condition then those needs to be passed in double quotes However, when, when you are doing a cell referencing or when you have direct number based, pure play number based condition, then uh, you can omit uh, double quotes. So here, uh, let's do the cell uh, referencing and my criteria is uh, here in L5 greater than 50. So it has returned as 55.33. Now it becomes dynamic. So you can write 55. Next question is, what were the units sold in electronics category? means you need to calculate the average of units sold but only for selected elements in this unit sold column wherever category is electronics only those so let's write average if for this equal to average if criteria range so my criteria is electronics category means my criteria or condition lies in this column or this range and my criteria is electronics so I am passing electronics and then my average range. So average I need to calculate for unit sold based upon predefined criteria. So then I would be passing the unit sold. So here my criteria range and average range is different. Hence the third parameter needs to be passed mandatorily. So equal to 39.85. So let's see this. So average of electronics category product so is 39.8571 also this these functions are not case sensitive uh, and here you can also do uh, cell referencing 
if i write electronics like this then uh, this will also work because uh, average if and average if function is not case sensitive uh, you can pass up to case or lower case next question is what is the average revenue after 15 december 2023 so here we have a text based condition and we have to find average of revenue based upon condition over here so means this becomes my average range and this becomes my criteria range where my criteria lies so i'm writing equal to average if my criteria range lies over here and my criteria is after 15 december 2023 so i would be writing it like this and it needs to be passed in mmdd by by format and my average range lies over so equal to 4250 so let's see that so 17 december sale and then this 18 december 16 december then 19 20 and 16 so 4250 so this is about average if function however when you have multiple criteria or multiple conditions then average if function is useful if you are liking our content then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel let's understand the syntax of average if function so here the syntax is a bit different from average if function so here average range you need to pass as first and then your criteria range and criterion means your condition range and condition or criteria it will start coming in pairs depending upon how many criteria or conditions you have to pass one thing to note is since average ifs can take multiple conditions then it will definitely take one condition means it will do the work of average if function as well. so here average unit sold in electronics category after 15 december so here i need to take an average of this unit sold so this becomes my average range first parameter second parameter criteria range so electronics category so this becomes my second parameter which is criteria range one and criterion one is electronics then criteria range two so my criteria range two means my second condition lies in this range and the condition is after 15 december so i need to pass uh, all these in the average if function so i am writing average if here average range i need to calculate average unit sold so my average range is this and my criteria range one so criteria range one is electronics and my criteria is electronics then second condition range range for second condition lies over here and my second condition is this to 39.6 so let's check that in electronics category product sold after uh, 15 december is this one this one and these three so is 39.3 next question is average revenue for products between 15 december till 13 december including category so here my uh, one criteria is in category range which needs to be clothing and then we have two conditions on date of sale after 15 december and less than 13 december okay so here i am writing equal to average if the average range i need to calculate average revenue so my average range would be this one and one condition is on category so this is my criteria range one where my first condition lies and my condition is this my second condition lies in this range so this becomes criteria range 2 and criteria 2 is greater than this state and my third criteria range is also this one and criteria 3 is 30th December 2023 here it's 20 December so since this is dynamic uh, we will check so i am just referencing it currently
तो लेट्स चेक दैट इन क्लोदिंग कैटेगरी आफ्टर फिफ्टीन दिसंबर दिस इज वन सेल एंड लेस देन थर्टी दिसंबर डेफिनेटली and this is the only one so average is 4800 average if functions and average if both can also take wild cards condition uh, so i assume you know about wild card here we will uh, use one of the wild card condition know the average unit sold for any type of fan so here you can see ceiling fan pedestal fan so there is a fan word in each of the product name so we will use that to calculate average unit sold so equal to average Gifts. We have only one condition, but we can write average gifts as well. So we need to uh, find average unit sold. So my average range is this one, and my criteria range one. So my condition lies in this, and we will try to find under the criteria wherever fan word is written. So forty-eight point six seven. So this is ceiling fan. This is pedestal fan. and this is desk fan so 48.6 so that's all for today's video guys uh, if you want to know more about other conditional mathematical functions like sum ifs count ifs etc then do check out those videos so let's see you guys there so thank you for watching thank you for staying tuned to statement